Kentucky's new abortion ban is already being challenged in court. The ban took effect Friday immediately after the Supreme Court ruled that abortions are not a protected right in the Constitution. Bodie Brooks is at the state capitol to explain more on the lawsuit filed by pro-choice supporters. Bodie. Marmon, Imani, the ACLU and Planned Parenthood are now challenging Kentucky's ban on abortions based on the rights of the state constitution because those rights no longer exist at the federal level. However, come November, the rights guaranteed in the state constitution could also be gone, fanning the flames for both pro-life and pro-choice supporters to continue their fight. Our work is just beginning. We know more is coming. A post-Roe Kentucky has already triggered into place an immediate ban on abortions, with the only exception being to save the mother's life. In an emergent situation, it's not just doctors that are involved in your care, it's lawyers. And hospitals are going to have to determine whether they can take on the liability with the felony charges in that. The law makes performing an abortion a felony. Tamara Weeder of Planned Parenthood believes there will be a chilling effect on the reproductive medical community in Kentucky and worries pro-life state lawmakers will take bigger steps. There is a lot of fear. Right now there isn't um, criminalization in Kentucky for the women, but there is for the doctors. And it's not a big leap to see some of these legislators in Frankfurt take it that route next session. Those physicians or individuals that would break a Kentucky law uh, as trying to provide abortions outside of the law that's something criminal. I've never advocated for the criminal, the, the criminal intent for women. Adia Wushner of Kentucky Right to Life says the ACLU lawsuit was expected and much of the other related legislation deadlocked in court, such as regulation of mail order abortion medicine, will also have to be legally revisited. What they were using was the Constitution of the United States and a right that had been uh, in, set forth, and that's not there anymore. Wishner and Weeder are both looking towards a vote in November, where Kentuckians will decide if abortions are not protected under Kentucky's Constitution. It will make it clear that it is the lawmakers that make those decisions, and that there is no constitutional right for abortion in our state constitution or for the funding of abortion. And this would change our constitution um, permanently. Um, taking away any right to abortion. The language specifically says nothing in this constitution shall be construed to protect or secure the right to an abortion. Nothing. Attorney General Daniel Cameron is named in the suit. I reached out to his office for a statement. He says in part, to be clear, there is no right to abortion contained in the Commonwealth's Constitution, and we will stand up against any baseless claim to the contrary. Weider says Planned Parenthood will remain open and help provide uh, transportation for women to receive abor abortions in other parts of the country. Wushner says they will be expanding their education and advocacy so women know they have other options. Live at the state capitol, I'm Bodie Brooks, Fox 56 News.